Sunday's win in Detroit was the high water mark for the offense as the Seahawks topped previous best for total yards, rushing yards and points. Hello 12s, I'm Jen Mueller with your Seahawks Daily and the 48 points scored by Seattle was more than in the previous three games combined. It's really consistent um, pass protection wise. They did a fantastic job. Um, Working together with the timing, getting the ball out, and all that, you know, and all the different actions and the movements that, that Shane had her guys doing helped. And, but the guys played really consistently across the board. Got to get rid of a couple penalties, you know, and, and, and not give them stuff. And then as the game wore on, the, you know, you saw us develop more, you know, some more opportunities in the running game. So they, they just did a really solid job. I mean, if they were giving out a game ball, I'd give it to the O line. Everything started up front for Seattle Sunday. 235 of the 555 total yards came in the running game. In addition, the O-line did not allow a sack on 30 passing attempts from Geno Smith, whose 77.3 completion percentage leads the league. We're protecting the quarterback well, better than we have in past years, and uh, we're, we're, we're expecting to continue to get better too So because we know they're just getting started. you know. So it's so a very, very positive thing for us, and, and uh, I'm really happy for those guys. They're having a blast. You know, They love playing, and they're excited about it. And um, So it's, it, it's, a, it's all good. Here's what else happened as a result. Seattle controlled time of possession. The Hawks had the ball for over 33 minutes, a key number against a Detroit team that wouldn't go away and scored 30 points in the second half. We got to get better at our stuff. We got to get more consistent because what, what's happening is is the, the explosive plays are affecting drives as they always do. You know, there's always, you have an explosive play that the odds of scoring points goes way up. And uh, that's really, that's the big concern right now. We came out around okay on third down numbers. We didn't do well in fourth down, but we did, we did okay on third downs. But the, uh, the explosive plays are giving them all kinds of opportunities that we can't give up. And those are, you know, one thing or another. It's not any one thing. It's not the coverage that we're playing or it's not the style of stuff or any of that. We just have to execute better and uh, not, not give up the, the yards we're giving up. Seattle gave up 10 plays of 16 yards or more Sunday. On the season, they're allowing 428 yards a game and 6.7 yards a play. Better tackling and awareness is needed to improve those numbers. Situational tackling is what we're talking about. And we, if you don't recognize it and you take the same shot, like I'm going to go knock the guy out, uh, you know, you can you can make us vulnerable to the big plays. And that, that's what we have to do a better job of recognizing that. Usually, you know, that that we, by this time we should be getting that ironed out. And, and uh, so we're trying to clean that all up. The Seahawks get back to work on Wednesday to prepare for Sunday's game in New Orleans against the Saints.